Well, a new study of the health of our waterways is bringing some very discouraging news. ABC 7's Wayne Friedman shows us how big the problem is getting in bodies of water that are getting warmer because of climate changes. Unless we knew where to look, most of us would never realize it. But there's an invasion taking place in Northern California waters. Well, it's getting more and more common, unfortunately. John Kruger Hansen is harbor master of Spud Point Marina in Bodega Bay. He sees this invasion beneath his docks and under boats. He sees owners scraping those bottoms like never before. Well, th- to really keep the bottom in good shape, they have to do it once a month. If before, if 10 years ago, it might be once every three months. It's an observation measured, quantified, explained, and now published by Dr. Susan Williams, an ecologist at the UC Davis Bodega Marine Lab. She worries about long-term effects. We expect this to be general across world's oceans. The study found that in the last 50 years, the temperature of these waters has risen by one degree Fahrenheit, which might not sound like much, but consider what that's made possible. The number of invasive species has doubled. As the ocean warms, we found that uh, warm water favors these invasive marine species over native marine species. So really, the heat's on now. The non-natives come from places like Australia and Japan, transported on the hulls of ships or in their bilge water, and they grow fast. Look at all the creatures that attach to a couple of pieces of plastic pipe. It can become completely covered in just over a month. This is non-native, this is non-native, this, this. They probably grow twice as fast as our native species. Um, And as the ocean warms, they're growing even faster. All the while slowing down boats and ships, costing more fuel and threatening some of our favorite foods. Here's what these organisms have done to one very large mussel. These species, fowl, shellfish that we like to eat, mussels and oysters, sometimes so completely that the mussel and the oyster will die. When Dr. Williams took her latest sample to the laboratory, she counted 12 invasive species in one community alone. They have layered. They live on top of each other. These species have no natural predators, or very few, in these waters, so nothing keeps them in check. So it's not good news, just another example of how a small change in climate could lead to big ones for all of us a few years from now. From Bodega Bay, Wayne Friedman, ABC 7 News.